Taurus, welcome back to the Stealth Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Monday, April 5th. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. At the heart of your reading, we have the Three of Pentacles reversed. You may have just exited a group, preferring to work solo. Possibly um, like leaving a corporate work environment to be an entrepreneur. What's the challenge for Taurus? Justice in reverse, King of Swords in reverse. When the, the leader or the head of that group um, was faced with a difficult decision, they came down pretty harshly and it felt unfair to you. Now, they may have cut you out of the group or you may have decided to leave the group as a reaction to their decision because you felt like it was unfair. I'm getting for some of you that you advised against the decision that they made and it was like an, uh, an ideological divide that, that made it kind of untenable for you to continue with that group. Show me Taurus's focus. What are we focused on, Taurus? No more confusion. I know what I want. And I'm going after it. Um, Seven of Cups reversed. Page of Swords. Nine of Cups. The going after it part, you're at the beginning stages of that. You're, you, you're either collecting information or disseminating information. Like you might be sending out newsletters, sending out emails. You could be sending out resumes if you've just left a job. Um, but I, I suspect this is more like working a network or promoting yourself. Nine of Cups says you're really shooting for the moon here. You're, you're going for a, a wish, a lofty goal. In the recent past, we have judgment in reverse. I feel like this is the decision that the King of Swords made that you didn't agree with. It didn't go in your favor. Show me the energy of the environment. How is Spirit using Taurus's environment to support them and nudge them in the right direction? Hmm. Knight of Cups. Act on what's in your heart. Do what you love. If you're looking for the silver lining here, what uh, either the reason why this happened, spirit might have been intervening here to help you get on a path of doing what you love, more so than what you'd been doing in the past, or it may be just the silver lining that since this happened, 
the way to optimize your reaction to these energies could be what spirit is suggesting here. Hey, use this opportunity to follow your dreams, to, to follow something that you're going to love doing. I just want to take a second and see if, if, if this is resonating on a relationship level for me. Since the Knight of Cups has come out, I just want to double check. If you were involved in a th in a third party situation, for lack of a better term. Um, your person might have chosen the other person, cutting you out of a group. If that's the case, it's still a positive thing because I see the way that spirit's influencing the situation is to go after what you love and you are here focused on emotional certainty over what you want communicating your wish let's see the near future Another very positive card with the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, I, I'm still sticking with the entrepreneurial vibe here because Nine of Pentacles is independent abundance. Standing on your own, quite successful, having all that you need and more, like more customers than you know what to do with, surpassing your sales projections, that sort of vibe. Your surprise energy, we have the magician in reverse. I feel like this is something that you have manifested a while back. That's why it's coming as a surprise. You may have set an intention of wanting this sort of thing to happen in your life, but not really knowing how to go about getting it. So when this sequence of events happened, spirits like, aha, that thing you manifested a while back, that's now possible because of your changing environment. So that's why they're inserting this inspiration for you to follow your heart follow your dream, follow your wish, and become really successful at it. Show me hopes and fears. Five of Cups. Well, anytime you follow your heart, you run the risk of really uh, exposing yourself emotionally. When you do something that's really, really important to you, it's like um, putting yourself in a vulnerable state where you could lose something that's important to you. So you may be worried about, if I put it all on the line here, is it just gonna be taken away from me? I think we're also getting at the aspect of the inherent risk of entrepreneurship itself. Worrying about, am I gonna lose everything? Am I putting all my eggs in one basket? I think on a more granule, granular level, you also you know that there are going to be setbacks along the way and you kind of uh, 
you're hoping that you'll be able to take those things in stride and not let it discourage you. Like, if you have the safety and security of a paycheck, you have a bad week, you're still gonna get your paycheck. If you're an entrepreneur and you have a bad week, you might not be able to make ends meet. If you're part of a company and a customer complains, you have other resources, you have a team, you have an HR department, you have a CEO, you have people who can assist in um, addressing client concerns. If you have someone um, who's disappointed in your service and you are a solo, uh, you're, you're acting alone, then who's going to help you rebound? It's that sort of an energy. This is definitely projecting fear onto the situation, so I like to use this position as a caution um, because you run the risk of a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you're too concerned about what you're going to lose, then you may act in a way that causes that to happen. So be careful about that. Try to stay optimistic. And um, trust in your own resilience. Show me the end result for Taurus. <laughs> I like that. What do we have here? Ah, Queen of Wands. Talk about resilience. Um, Queen of Wands knows her own worth, doesn't let anything get her down. She's like, wow, King of Wands reversed here at the bottom of the deck, yin and yang. Um, Queen of Wands isn't worried about the customers who don't want her, don't want her services, don't want what she's selling that doesn't even enter into her paradigm. She knows that there are more than enough who want what she's selling. She's focused on those people. So I think that's gonna be your mindset at the conclusion of these energies. It's also describing the fact that a lot of people are going to be attracted to what you are doing. So if this is resonating as a relationship or a romance reading for you, you're going to have no, short of, no shortage of interest. Um, a lot of people are going to want to date you. A lot of people are going to behave as though they're attracted to you. And if this is business, business is going to be good. You might be going through a growth phase that's difficult even for you to keep up with. Your advice, moon in reverse. Get over your fears. Don't let fear motivate you here. This is a hearkening back to the fear that came up in your hopes and fears position. It's also telling you in general, um, act on what you love, focus your intentions on doing what you love, and try to avoid focusing too much on what you're afraid of. This is definitely a, a love versus fear situation. So Taurus, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.